We're live! Good evening. TJ Temple Show here. Thanks for being with us tonight. Uh, it's Friday! Yay! It is. It's Friday. Yay! Happy Friday, everybody. Um, it's a Friday night. Hopefully you guys are doing something fun this evening. Hopefully you're listening to this program with whatever it is that you are doing tonight. Thanks for being with us. So, I have been having phone troubles lately. How great is that? Yay! I love having phone troubles. I say that was a whole bunch of... Uh, I, I love having them. Um, okay. And... Uh, excuse me for just a moment. I'm getting our Facebook friends along for the ride tonight. Alright. Alright, we're here tonight. Thanks for... Okay. Um, yes, like I said before. So, we are watching the threat for some snow. Um, actually, we're gonna... I'll come back to this, but hang on just a second. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, like we were saying, we do have that sh uh, chance for snow heading into next week. Now, how much are we going to see? That has been the question I have been asked more than enough times this so far. And here's what I think. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you right now. I I looked at the computer models earlier today. Okay. Excuse me, uh, that's the supper calling from earlier tonight. I know, right? Um, I did look at the models earlier today, and I am going to look at the models once more tonight. Okay? So, um, here's what I'm thinking. Right now, uh, there's two potential um, scenarios this storm can take. This storm can go straight up the coast and bring us possibly a couple of inches of snow. And I'm looking at the current GFS computer model right now, and it's showing about one to two inches for our area. And if you heard the show the other day, I said, I said that we could see possibly one to three inches of snow. That was with the European model. So, and I posted on the TWU page a little earlier, uh, in a little earlier today, that we could, we could possibly see, um, one, two, possibly two inches. It's dependent on where the storm goes. The second scenario takes it out to sea, and we don't see nothing, nothing at all. So, it again, this is. We are we're continuing to keep an eye on this. Right now, the GFS, the American model, and the European model are in agreeing are in agreement are in an agreement with each other. Right now, they agree with each other, saying about an inch to possibly two. But there's a lot of time between now and and Tuesday and Wednesday when we're scheduled to get this possible snow. So there's a lot of time between now and then, and now uh, I'm looking at the NAM, the North American model, and it's saying an inch for Beaver County, Butler County, Columbiana County, Mahoney County, Hancock County, parts of Washington and Allegheny counties, and points to about the north, the northwest, the northwestern part of our viewing area. 
So from about, eh, let's say about Moon Township points to the northwest and to the west. To the north and west. That's what the North American model is saying in terms of snow. That's again with the NAM. The GFS is saying about an inch or two. That's for our general viewing area. Of course, we're going to we're going to continue to watch it, and we'll keep it on. We'll uh, have updates all weekend long. Um, and see, right now I'm looking at the newest model, the the newest GFS model, and now now that is saying for the entire viewing area, two inches. Two inches for the entire viewing area. Again, we're still a couple days out. This forecast will change. And and we'll be staying on top of it all weekend. We'll keep you updated over on the TWU page on Facebook. We will keep you posted. Of course, um, if the if there is possible, if there is a storm next week, we may be on the air, uh, starting our new six our new hour and a half island storm show. Okay. And again, the GFS is showing about an inch to two. Okay, and we're going to continue watching it, and we'll have the latest for you coming up uh, throughout the weekend when new and valuable information comes in to the weather center. Alright, so we weren't on last night to discuss um, CMA awards, and... And now I'm going to discuss it as we speak right now. So, uh, the CMA Awards were Wednesday night, in case you did not see them. Entertainer of the Year went to George Stray, from what I've heard. But, that wasn't really the big point of the entire thing. The beginning was hilarious. It was. It really was. It was a very, very hilarious uh, if you ask me um uh, it was hilarious I I kid you not I kid you not they made fun of Obamacare the song went Obamacare by morning only six people sir that was hilarious. It's on YouTube if you'd like to see it. It is. And speaking of things that went on YouTube, I don't remember if you guys heard or not. I don't know if you guys heard, but my winter forecast is now out on YouTube for the entire world to see. And if you'd like to see it, it's on there right now. Of course it is. You know it is. It is always it's it's there right now. You'd like if you'd like to see it, it's there. Um I don't know if you're if you're a snow lover you might like it. I don't know. So this week has come to a close and Monday we are off. So we will not have school on Monday. And speaking of school, I do have an announcement to make. I was, I have been told, I have been told from very, very reliable sources that our that our school has a weather bug station. KDK is, of course, the official weather bug television station in our viewing area. Okay. So anyway. Uh, I gotta get a drink. Uh, excuse me one moment. In my TJ Temple Show mug here, as you can see it on the screen, I gotta get a drink. And by the way, that is no visual effect there, folks. That is a real mug. And of course, you're seeing me in the studio, my... TWU thing is behind me here. If you can see it behind me on the Ustream. Um, so anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. We're, we have a weather bug station at our school. Okay. 
and uh, we are now scheduled to get a camera for this weather bug station which I was hoping and praying that they would I was hoping they would and I'm glad that they did that I'm glad they're going to get one it's not set up just yet and I can't wait till it is I can't wait and of course all week long we've been giving people shout outs on this program tonight is not going to change okay not that not much is going to change here we're gonna recap the week recap the week that was in shout outs all week long we're gonna give tonight's shout outs the final three of shout out week we're gonna have a weather update from TWU we're gonna look ahead to them this weekend, some big college football matchups coming up. Um, and we're going to discuss that coming up. We're going to take a short time out. We'll be back in just a moment. This is the TG Double Show on a Friday night to round out your week. We'll be back. We're back on the show tonight. We are back on the show, and I'm, I apologize for my dogs. They're barking. They are barking right now, but that's okay. Anyway, this week, all this week on the show, we have been giving shout outs to people or some of my closest friends. Okay? So we've been giving shout outs all week long. And in case you have missed any shout outs, I'm going to pause for just a second. So, till I. For the play. Anyway, it's been shout out week all week. And um, we're going to be discussing shout outs that we've had all week. Monday, when we started it all off, it was my best friends. My best friends, Kayla, Courtney, Haley, Caitlin, got the shout outs first beginning of the week. 
Tuesday, it was my football buddies, Quay, Cam, Austin, Zeke, Austin, Boone, I call him Booing, and my partner in crime in terms of managing, it was Joey. Wednesday, it was two cheerleaders, Miss Casey and Miss Morgan, obviously, got the shout out, they gave me, well, she, Casey gave me the lovely card, which I appreciate so much, and tonight, it's our last three, the last three shout outs we have to give for this week, it's shout out week, it comes to a close. So, without further delay, this week, or tonight's shoutouts go to my best friend Danielle, my, I don't know, I can't call him a friend because he really isn't, uh, Reese, and this girl that I mentioned earlier this week, in case you did not hear, we were talking about a story, and it was uh, Alex. So, there's your final shoutouts for this week, shoutout week. We're going to take a quick time out. Coming up, we're going to discuss, we're going to have a weather update, weekend weather update. We're going to look ahead to the weekend, great, some great college football games. And we'll round out this week's show. This is TJ Show. We're back in just, just a little bit. We're back. We are back on the TJ Temple Show tonight. Um, thanks for being with us. Um, it has been a quite an interesting show, has it not? Uh, we are almost to the end of it. We have the latest um, on your weekend weather. Of course, tonight is the quarterfinals for high school football. The high school football playoffs. Of course, our team... Southside did not make it, which is why I'm doing the show right now. Okay, so yeah, that's why. Um, let's give you that weekend weather update. This weekend will be primarily or mainly clear. Will be a mainly clear weekend. We'll be on the dry side for the remainder of the for this weekend. Temperatures will be in the the low to mid 50s throughout the weekend. Monday will remain dry, as is on Tuesday. We will remain dry, but Tuesday night, the Wednesday, Wednesday is when we will keep an eye out for that possible snow. When we, yeah, when we will keep an eye out for possible snow in the forecast. That's that's what we are keeping an eye out for. Um, we're looking for that possible snow heading into next week. Right now, we don't know how much will accumulate. Most, the majority of the bottles, saying on the order of about an inch or two across the area. We're going to keep an eye on it. Like I said, all weekend long, TWU will have updates on their Facebook page throughout the weekend. Uh, and we will keep you posted throughout this three-day weekend. I'm off Monday, too. I am not off, however from keeping a close eye on these storms. Once again, we are 
keeping a very close eye on this. We're going to keep an eye on it, and we'll have the latest for you all weekend. Okay? So yes, this weekend will be dry, but it will... Yeah. This weekend will be dry, but we're watching next week, and we're watching it closely. Okay? So thank you very much. We're not done yet. We have a little bit more to, to talk about, and that is this weekend's football games. We have some football on the way for you this weekend. We have, it's on CBS, uh, LSU, Bama. I, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised if Bama wins, which they are. They probably will. Depends on, on they'll be close. I apologize. My dog's an idiot. He 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 really is, and I I do apologize for that. The show is going great so far. I I promise you. And we may we're it looks like we're gonna wrap it up here very very soon. Just want to thank you for being with us throughout this week. It's, it has been shout out week. I don't know if I'll be back next week. We'll see how it goes. See how how goes it so far. We will see. But. We don't know yet. So, you know. Oh, I'm tired. No, I've been up since 7 o'clock this morning. I had to go to school. So I've been up since 7 o'clock this morning. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. But once again, we're keeping an eye, in case you're just tuning in. A little late. But we can't recap the show when you two minutes because we're going to be signing off here in about two minutes so right now it looks like the snow potential is there for next week right now it looks like Tuesday Wednesday time frame for this snow to arrive but right now it doesn't we just don't know how much how much will s fall on our area right now like I said majority of the models saying about an inch to two of course we'll be keeping an eye we'll be keeping an eye on this all weekend I'm continuing to watch it throughout the weekend and we'll have the latest view all weekend long okay but right now according to the latest AccuWeather article the, all the snow potential is going to miss us altogether we will not see anything we will however deal with the cold once again scenario one it strengthens off the coast goes up the coast we get something from it it's not going to be much little if any on the terms of about an inch to two according to the models we can't make a, a really good call just yet because we don't have, we can't really make a good call yet. Probably Monday night, Tuesday, or Tuesday, between the Monday night, Tuesday night time frame, well, that's when we'll get our best call on this snow. Okay. That's our, that's our best call. I'll win. We're about out of time here on the show tonight. Thanks for being with us. Have a great weekend, everybody. Three days. Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three-day weekend. You, we are all off. That's it for us. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy college football. We'll be keeping an eye on that snow thread for next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>